Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Thursday, 26th of October 2023. These trades were shared by ES who is trading Nasdaq CFT. As you see the macro chart of one hour is in downtrend and she waited for the pullback to be completed on the structural chart. And when the sellers came back and broke this level and showed good momentum, she entered three sell short positions here based on algo one to five and close and manage them with exit strategy number one with profit. So thank you ES for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Yasin who is trading S&P 500 futures. As you see the macro chart is in uptrend but it broke this level and started to have a deep pullback. So this downtrend channel can be seen in one minute structural chart with good momentum. So using a smaller trading chart, he identified this area of pullback and entered two sell short position and managed and closed them with exit strategy number two with profit. So thank you Yasin for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by MG who's trading Dow Jones CFT. As you see the macro chart is in downtrend and past the point of control and is gaining momentum. So you can see the breakdown here and a strong downtrend in the structural chart. So this downtrend wave was taken using a smaller trading chart and he identified several sell short entries based on algo one to five and entered an exit with exit a strategy number one with profit. So thank you MG for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by AA who's trading Nasdaq CFT. As you see the macro chart is in downtrend and gained momentum and had a deep complex pullback here. So this area of downtrend in the structural chart that has good momentum was identified and using a smaller trading chart he entered two sell short position here based on algo one to five and managed and closed them with exit strategy number two with profit. So thank you AA for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Sam or Global Instructor who is trading Nasdaq CFT. As you see the macro chart reached this area of static support that got rejected strongly and you can see there in the structural chart the rejection and engulfing pattern. So this uptrend wave was taken using setup C with multiple long positions and he managed to close this with good risk to reward ratio and profit. Then again, when there was another pullback, he entered with setup till several long position and managed and closed this also with good profit and risk to reward ratio. Also, when the price went up and couldn't hold and retested this support area one more time, he used setup B and entered here multiple long positions with good risk to reward ratio and managed and closed this with good runner on the other side of the channel. And you can see the result of these trades also for the day here. So thank you Sam for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Yan or Global Instructor who is trading Dow Jones CFT. As you see the macro chart is in downtrend and you can see also the downtrend momentum and channel in the five minute structural chart. So using a smaller one minute chart he identifies several areas of sell short entry and manage and close them with exit strategy number one with profit. And when the price reached this static support area and the price got rejected, he entered long positions for quick escort using setup B and manage and close this also with profit. So thank you Yan for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those that I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you the trade that I have taken today on Thursday, 26th of October, 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ, Dow Jones, and S&P 500 futures. If we look at the one hour macro chart, we see that the price dropped during the Asian market and reached this area of the point of control during the London session. And from there, it started to go up before the New York market session. And we see that during the New York market session for the first 10 minutes, the price started to go up and tested the previous day low and close on all E-minis and that's the area I took long positions on NASDAQ and also took some long positions on these candles as you see around 10 o'clock on the Dow Jones repeatedly mostly with setup B and around 10.20 when the price reached this area of the point of control on S&P 500 I took long positions on this candle for quick scalp 
Anyway, the market was very choppy with high volatility that we don't recommend the novice traded trades. So I stopped trading for the day. And these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts. And the result shows that we reached profit factor of 6.76 with about 81% win rate from the long positions taken and the average win to loss ratio of 1.59. The largest winning trade was 295 and the largest losing trade was $405. So hope these trades taken by the PAT system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.